All right, so this isn't starting so well because uh, I don't know if you can see it has started to rain and I was going to show you how I work with my spray paints because I love spray painting and uh, I'm really bad at doing the before and afters but there was this adorable little lamp with a white lampshade and I started last night because I was just so excited and look at that! So I'll show you how I do the rest. And it's a great way for you to learn how to reuse and glamorize what you already have and also personalize. It's my little dragonfly. So, so just need to clean any solid non-porous surfaces with a little bit of soap and water. And uh, I like to use this soap for everything. I've been using it since my kids were bored and um, you really can't go wrong with Au Naturel. So it works on everything on your body, products, all surfaces. <clears throat> so the little lampshade is actually the same color as this, okay? So let's see what I'm gonna do with it. I wonder if you guys can hear me properly. Let me know. I have a really soft voice. Okay, so there we go. She's nice and clean, ready to go. So of course, all of a sudden, when I wanted to do this, it started to rain outside, and uh, spray painting is not so good inside. Uh, it's very toxic, and uh, the smell, it just travels, so um, it's, it's the spray that just travels everywhere. It's micro particles, so uh, that's why I got this box outside to just contain all of the, the mist of the, the, um, the paint that's going everywhere. Wear a glove also, that's gonna help you protect your skin. Sometimes I don't wear it, I just spontaneously just wanna do something and then I just do it and get paint all over me. And sometimes there's somebody that just pops up also, just from behind. Who are you talking to? We're making a video. Who? Me. Oh. This is Mia. Hello. Hi. <laughs> she gave me a 10 minute break, so I was wondering where you were. Okay, I'm gonna take a break with Mia and I'll get back to you guys later. All right, so I have a guest with me, which is actually the owner of this little lamp. So her name is Mia. And what I want to do here is take my lace curtain. You really can take any piece that you find at the store. And I'm gonna put it on top of the lampshade that I worked on last night. And then I'm gonna spray paint it in black with the same matte black that I was using. And it's gonna give it like a more vintage, used, aged look. I like that, I think it's kind of romantic. It's raining, so definitely not a great day to spray paint, but c'est la vie, I gotta get this done. Plus she's right here. <laughs> So we're gonna do it um, one side at a time. So you see how we can still see like the colors underneath? So I did that on purpose to give it that aged look. What do you think, Mia? Do you think it's, it's gonna, gonna be okay? Cool. Yeah. All right, let's try this out. Have you ever spray painted before? Yeah, I, know. I love spray painting. Okay, so always give like one in there. It works, great. I love this because it's gonna give it a really dainty, like, feminine look. Again, the box, if you have a bigger box, that's great. The spray goes everywhere. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to try not to move the original fabric from where it was, so we can try to continue the pattern. Okay, and we're going to do this on high speed now. All right, Mia? Yeah. Okay. So this is the effect when you just place any little piece of lace and there's different patterns so you can play around with them and this is where now this will be able to fit and suit the new lamp bottom. It's really nice. There's lots of sparkles. How do you like it? I like it. I just have one more detail to add. I love fringes. You can add 
Okay. So it's going to get some fringes. So I'll show you guys that part later because it takes a little bit more time. So I need a glass of wine. <laughs> All right, I need to go back. Mia's going back to class, but so far she is a satisfied customer. 